the full the fullness of the blessing of the gospel for we are need to receive the blessing of the gospel Romans 15 verse 29 says and I am sure when I come unto you I shall receive I I shall come into the fullness of the gospel of Christ now gospel means good news that God provided salvation for all people through his atoning death through Jesus Christ our Lord mark 1 1 through 15 and the word is used in the teachings of Christ Christ our Lord and the Apostles Colossians 1 5 but it's very important that we speak the gospel and make known that the gospel speaks truth and it's all only through the truth that we can make ourselves free according to the blessing of the gospel blessing meaning an act declaring God's goodness in the favor of others he is the good shepherd and the good shepherd give us life to his sheep John 10 11 and God blesses his people by giving them life the eternal life that our Lord brings and God blesses his people by forgiving their sins. Romans 4, 7, 8. An eternal blessing from the gospel of Christ and our Holy Father. Now it says, I'm sure when I come unto you, I shall come unto the fullness of the blessing of the gospel. It doesn't say, I'm not sure. It doesn't say, hmm, that could be true. It doesn't say, that doesn't say it is true, because it's the gospel and a true blessing. But how do we know it's true? Because it's the gospel and the good news and what the gospel, good news brings. Nothing but, the, nothing but a blessing everywhere that the Lord's peoples go. Like Christ the Apostle, like Christ the Apostles did when they spread the gospel. They spread the people were truly blessed in the teaching of the gospels. But what did Jesus and the apostles teach? Well, he didn't sure didn't teach of the bad news and speak of the just the false prophets, just speak about sin, just speak about the idols, and just speak about what we shouldn't do. They, they gave us the proper information to inherit a blessing to the glory. And if you don't have that information to the glory, how you get a blessing through glory? We exist in days in the world where people are on the same page. But there are some days where people are very harsh towards each other and each other's necks and you don't want to be around them at all and there's days where there's negative 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 but when you're among the brethren you're always sure to receive a blessing from the gospel because you are blessed by what by the good news by the Lord's people and it also involves what happens when the gospel comes upon you? What is the result? What happens is you receive the truth of the gospel according to God's grace. John 1, 16. Of his fullness all have received and grace for grace. And grace brings forth salvation, eternal light. For we share the gospel to share the gospel is to be a partaker of grace. When we receive the gospel, you respect the full fullness of the gospel, the total and complete. For no one is complete until they are completely blessed according to the gospel. God fulfilled the all in all, and this is the uh, most clearly expressed in Jesus Christ. 
in whom believers received the divine life of his fullness in the gospel. And we had to make note to spread the gospel rapidly, daily. God's planned moment in saving action, the sending of Christ to redeem those who were born under the law, especially Christ's death as a saving event at the time, the fullness of time. The fullness of time refers to God's gracious plan for eternity, not so much for the world's conditions, but to proclaim God's triumphant over the enemies, the gospel of the good news is what's delivered from when the God, Lord's people get distressed. And the gospel brings us up knowing that one day we will be blessed by the Lord. An example of being exposed to the glory is an action being made public. For we are not content, God is not for, meant for us to be ignorant. The gospel speaks truth. And if that answer is incorrect, it will leave you ignorant and a blessing of the Lord. And if you're not complete, how will you be compared to for eternal life? And if you're not living in the Lord, how will you receive a blessing from the glory? We are hoping for the end, not wishing for it. Hope is abundant and everlasting, and hope brings forth confidence. Sin causes grief and suffering. That's why we look up for, to the light, for light is flawless into the eyes of the Lord. And when you get blessed, you are fed. And when God's people are fed, they think. But, but when you are blessed in the glory, you're growing in the Lord. And that is the work of Christ. But without the full blessing of the glory, you're incomplete in the body. Incomplete not having all the necessary or appropriate parts or not full, full or finish or incompletion a state of lacking of something or having failed to complete something. Here are some examples of being incomplete. You're gonna perish. You're gonna be damned. I have a question, no, just listen to me, no questions. But if you add these in questions, what are you gonna inherit? There's just one thing you need to know, it's just, Half of what you gotta know, it's incomplete to the other person and the other person's other believers, it's in comparison. Failure to understand something. That's why it's important to speak the gospel to the full tr truth of the gospel. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. The eyes of the blind shall be open, the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Jesus Christ is more than just a messenger of the gospel. He is the gospel. And the gospel was once was on his lips. And the gospel was on the lips of Jesus about the reign of God. And the story was about Jesus after his death and resurrection comes to one conclusion. There's only one gospel, and there's only one blessing from the Lord. And the blessing must be known, not kept as a secret, not kept to ourselves. It's to be known to the full gospel. And once you receive the full gospel, you'll receive the full blessing, receive the satisfaction, and that satisfaction brings glory to your soul. And the glory of Christ dwells within us by a blessing of the Lord. To the act, and that blessing of the Lord will make you active to the victory once you receive the glory. That's where faithfulness comes in. Steadfast, dedication, dependable, and worthy, worthy of his trust. God's faithfulness comforts and encourages the Lord's people God is faithful, 
and through a sanctification, the gospel, the focus of his, on his God, for we have acceptance, and when we're among the saints and the brethren, we shall receive the blessing of the gospel. How do we know? We are justified in the name of the Christ. Justice is also a central demand on God, who bear the name of God. Obedience unto his other commandments, and when we're in the presence of the Lord. And justice is a work in the people. Justice receives the gospel and the truth through the Holy Spirit. For everything is in life is based on the Lord, not because it's the gospel, because it comes from the act of God. And because the, we are justice justified and we are ble blessed through the Lord, it'll make you active as well, an active mind with the knowledge and an act of mind to bless the Lord. Now let's compare this knowledge to the things of the earth. Just simple things you're supposed to know, you understand. George Washington lived until 1732. He died until 1799. Abraham Lincoln, he lived till he, he was born 1809. He died 1865. Now let's date, stick to dates and deaths. Charles I, six, 1649. Julius Caesar, 44 BC. Isaac Newton, 1727. Richard III, 1485. William Wallace, 1305. Joan, Joan of Arc, 1431. You see, this is very good knowledge, you understand. But it brings nothing to the people. And it doesn't bless the brethren according to the gospel. In these cases, it's a huge distraction. But once you're in the Lord's house, and we have an event here where the people meet, and you take whether you take it to the Lord in prayer, you're sure to get a blessing. And when you're speaking from the word of God, whether we're here or where you're speaking to each other from the gospel, even as we're speak, speaking here, blessing one another. And only, th and only a full blessing shall get you prepared for life eternal by the grace of the gospel. Thank you, brethren.